welcome to my hospital room for the final emigurumi pattern I'll be sharing from here. Today we're going to be making this adorable orange slice with even a little green bit as the stem. So grab your four milliliter crochet hook and let's get started. So begin your orange by making a magic ring and do six single crochets inside. For round two, you're going to increase all the way around or do two single crochets in each stitch all the way around for a total of 12 single crochets at the end of the round. Begin round three by increasing. Now that it's getting bigger, you might want to use a stitch marker just so you don't lose count. But increase in your first stitch and then do one single crochet in your next stitch and repeat this pattern all the way around for a total of 18 single crochets. Begin round four by increasing. So do two single crochets in your first stitch and then do two re regular single crochets in the next two stitches. And then repeat this all the way around for a total of 24 stitches. Begin the next round by increasing. Followed by three single crochets. And repeat this pattern of increasing and then three single crochets all the way around for a total of 30 single crochets. Begin round six by increasing and then do four single crochets in the next four stitches. By the end of this round, you'll have a total of 36 single crochets. Now for the next four rounds, you're going to do a single crochet in each stitch all the way around for a total of 36 single crochets. So now this part of your orange is complete. So just do a slip stitch and cut a nice long tail. Make sure it's long enough to go all the way around to stitch the two parts together. There we go. So now we're going to begin the top piece of your orange. So begin with a magic ring and do six single crochets inside. For round two, you're going to increase all the way around. So do two single crochets in each stitch for a total of 12 single crochets. For round three, you're going to increase and then do one single crochet. Repeat this all the way around for a total of 18 single crochets. Begin round four by increasing. Followed by two single crochets. And at the end of this round, you'll end up with 24 single crochets. Begin the next round by increasing. Followed by three single crochets. At the end of this round, you'll end up with 30 single crochets. So the next round is going to be the white round. So, instead of doing your, so I'm on my final stitch here, my just my single crochet, and instead of pulling through with the orange, I'm going to pull through with the white. So pull through and then wrap around and pull through. There we go. Now for the next round, 
I'm going to increase. And then do four single crochets. And I'm going to repeat this all the way around for a total of 36 single crochets. So I'm going to end my white by doing a slip stitch. Then what I'm going to do is move back to my orange, which I haven't cut, and do a single crochet in each stitch all the way around for a total of 36 single crochets. So as you can see, my my first stitch was white, so to cover that up, I'm going to do a single crochet, or a slip, two slip stitches. And then you can see the top of my orange is orange, not white. And then I can cut, you can cut your yarn. You don't need to cut a super long tail because we're gonna sew it in with the other piece. And you can also cut your white now. And you wanna cut it so that we can do the veining on our orange. So cut lots just to be um, safe. So the first thing you wanna do is stitch in this end here. So to do that, I'm just going to put it through this V here and then it's just in the back and then I can go through a piece of the stitching like so and now I can knot my two pieces together so this is the white I started with this is the orange I ended with so I'm going to knot those two together just a double knot is good enough. And then we're gonna cut our orange into eight pieces or four big cuts. So to do that, what you're gonna do is poke your needle out into the white. So poke it out onto the good side. And then you're going to poke into your middle. So, and now I'm going to poke out over here. So go into your back, make sure you poke out, and you want it to poke out into the part where you have white. Perfect. And then go into the middle once again. And then you can go over here and just continue this all the way around of going to the edges until your orange looks like this. So I just finished doing the veining on my orange and now it's right here in the middle where I ended. So I'm gonna tie the orange piece where we started, the white piece where we ended, tie those together. So just do a double knot like so and now you can put your strings inside your orange um, base here and then you want to start stringing the base together. So to do it you pick up a V from the base and a V from the top and pull through. Then you're going to do a top and then connect to the base and then the base connect to the top Just go through a V of each, weave your way until you're about three quarters of the way done. So as you can see, my orange is stitched up for the most part, except for this little hole here. And once you have gotten to this point, add in your stuffing. And once you've stuffed it to your liking, just sew the rest of the hole closed. So now that your orange is all stitched closed, what you want to do is stick your yarn into the middle center here. Like so. And now what you want to do is on top of the some of the white pieces, you want to go back down and you want to poke out through the middle. 
and you want to pull. And this just prevents your orange from sticking out too much in the middle. And now we're moving on to our green stem piece. Begin by making a slip stitch and then chain four. Now you're going to do a slip stitch into your first chain. Then you're going to chain three and slip stitch back into that first chain, the same spot. And then you're going to put this green string behind just so it's hanging. And you're going to slip, you're going to chain three and slip stitch oops, once again into that same stitch. And now you can cut your yarn. And now we can sew this piece on. So what you're going to do is position your stem where we want it, put your, your needle through the middle, like so, put it through a piece of the stitching. You sort of want to go through a piece from either side of the circle. And then you want to go back up into the middle. Pull, pull, pull. So it's secure. And then you can go through just a piece of the stitching. Go into the orange again. Poke out at the other end. Maybe poke into your green again, just so it's from both sides, stitch down. Go into your green, or your orange, into the center, and poke out into a random spot. There we go, and then you can cut this piece. And then this piece we can just sew in. So for this one, you can just put it into your orange and poke out to a random spot. And there you have it. Your orange slice is complete. I hope you were able to follow along and make my final fruit pattern here from the hospital. See you in the next video!